How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be going over useful expressions in the math tab and the yes no tab. Now this will generally be the different groups you can find in each tab, less about the specific expressions. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments below. Now we'll start off with the math expressions. Um, skipping over the constants of a number and a decimal, you see we've got our group of logarithmic expressions. These expressions have been added relatively recently and it's a great sign to show that AppSheet is constantly adding new expressions uh, to their um, to the different tabs. Next you've got the one-off of the modulus operator and then you've got your different rounding options. Ceiling always round up, floor always round down, round is traditional rounding either up or down depending on what it's closer to. Next you've got a few one-offs of exponents, absolute value, square root, and the distance between two locations. Those are all very handy. Um, sorry about that. Those are all very handy in a lot of different situations. Next, you've got your list um, expressions, the ones that are going to return numbers based on a list. How many elements there are, the sum of the values, average, the minimum, the maximum, or the standard deviation of these lists. And then finally, you can convert from a decimal to a number or from a number to a decimal if you need to do that. Next, we'll check out the yes, no tab. This is what is called traditional, excuse me, booleans in traditional programming. First you've got your base values of true or false. These are what um, is always going to be returned in any of these expressions. First you've got your basic comparatives of is equal to or is not equal to. This one is very handy and it's something a lot of people don't know about. It's a shorthand for this not expression. Well, not exactly, but if you were to wrap a not expression around this equal sign, it's the same as just doing this shorthand of these carrots. Next, you've got your greater than, less than, or your greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. And finally, you come to and, or, and not. These are very useful to combine other conditionals. If you want to say something is greater than 10, but less than 20, you're going to use an AND expression. If you want to see, make sure that either admins or users can access a specific um, feature, you're going to use the OR expression. If you want to make sure that it's neither less than 5 nor greater than 10, you can use the NOT expressions um, in, uh, excuse me, in addition to the other greater than less than expressions. These are very handy in lots of situations. Next, you've got two final sections. Whether a value is blank or not, is blank or is not blank, can be very useful to see if there are values in a specified column on a specified row. Very, very useful in lots of situations. And then finally, if you want to check if there is a value in a list, you will use the in expression. And if you want to check if there is a subtext in a longer text, for instance, you want to know if there's an at sign in someone's email, um, or even more likely, you want to know which domain the user is using. If gmail.com is in their email, if um, your company's specific domain is in their email address, you would use contains. So that is a very quick overview of both the math tabs and the the math tab and the yes no tab if you have any questions like i said at the beginning please post them in the comments below we'd love to hear from you and love to help you out even more thank you so much for coming we hope you have a great day at crew technologies we love helping people get great value out of appsheet we do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this to stay up to date like and subscribe and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.